Hi, I'm Sean, the ordinary guy. Today we're going to make meatballs and tomato sauce. It's not a traditional recipe, but it's definitely a firm family favorite. So come along with us. So, on my left, we have 500 grams of mixed minced meat. It's pork and um, beef mixed together. We have Worcester sauce. We have frozen Italian herbs. Some sage because there is pork in here. Um, we have some beef stock, which we mix with water, so it's powdered. We have cans of um, chopped tomatoes. We have an onion, a large white onion, a small apple, three cloves of garlic and a thumb of fresh ginger, breadcrumbs and two eggs. So we're going to start with the ginger, preparing the ginger. I like to add in ginger to the recipe because it gives it a level of heat. You don't taste the ginger as such, but it just adds a little bit of warmth into the meal. Um, I'm going to be adding it to the meat and also the sauce, so probably half, half. So I usually grate the ginger. Sometimes it can be a bit stringy, but if you change direction whilst you grate it, you tend to get smaller pieces. So we finish grating the ginger. Put that into the mince and carry on with the other ingredients. So the garlic, for the meatballs, I'll cut up into smaller pieces. For the sauce, not necessarily. So we've got two small cloves of garlic. We pop that in as well. So the next ingredient is an apple. Small, cut it into quarters. Decor it. So then we're gonna grate the apple the same way as we did the ginger. I like to add apple because there's just a touch of sweetness um, and with the pork it adds to the flavor. So we finished grating the apple and now we add that as well to the mince. And we carry on with the onion. Uh, because the onion is so large I'm only going to use half for the meatballs and half for the sauce. So whenever I'm cutting an onion I usually cut it into kind of segments first and then into very fine pieces. I like it to be cut up and not grated in like the apple and the ginger because uh, it adds to the texture and it's quite nice in the mouth. Very strong. I hope this is going to be very sweet when we add it in. So we finished the onion. Add that in now. I forgot to mention was to add in a bit of salt. I usually eyeball it but it's probably around two teaspoons of salt, not too much, but it should be enough to give it flavor. And some ground pepper, which will also add a little bit to the flavor. Also eyeball it, probably around a, a small teaspoon. Then we're gonna add in some sage, ground sage. I would usually go for fresh if I could find it at this time of the year, but we're living in Germany and it's not freely available. Probably around a teaspoon as well and then we have some fresh herbs frozen fresh herbs from our local grocery store 
I'll add in some of that as well. The rest of it we will use for the sauce. And then two eggs. I add in the eggs because it helps it to bind. Meat and the ingredients together. Okay, so we're gonna add in about a cupful of breadcrumbs as well. And then we should be ready to mix this all up together. Okay, my hands are clean. So we're done mixing the mince together with the rest of the, of the ingredients. And we're gonna start shortly to roll the balls and put them onto a baking tray and then roast them in the oven. So on my baking tray, I have some greaseproof paper. Um, if you have a nonstick tray, then use it without, but I like this because it helps to keep it a little bit cleaner and makes it easier to wash up. Okay, so we'll start rolling the balls. Not too large. Probably the size of a ping pong ball, maybe slightly smaller. We start lining them up on the tray. Too big. So, we'll so we finished rolling the meatballs, quite a few. Um, this is probably gonna feed more than four people, probably around six. Once we've got it in the sauce and we um, add it also to some spaghetti. I'm going to put it into the oven now. Um, roast it at 200 degrees Celsius for about half an hour or until lightly browned. So I'm gonna prepare the sauce whilst we're waiting for the meatballs to cook in the oven. Um, what we're gonna be needing, as I said, would be the other half of the onion the other two cloves of garlic, the other part of the thumb of the ginger, which will grate down. We've got the remaining um, frozen Italian herbs. We have the beef stock um, powder, which we'll add with water, the Worcester sauce, the two cans of tomatoes chopped, and of course, um, olive oil to sweat uh, the, the ingredients down. Here, the onions and the garlic, and the ginger. I put the olive oil into the Dutch oven and we're going to turn on the hob, put it kind of to a medium heat and then add in those ingredients to the oil and then start to let it sweat off basically. together with the garlic and the ginger. Quite a pungent smell, rather nice. And we're getting ready now to add the tomatoes, the can of tomatoes into this mix. Mix it well through and let it cook off a bit. And then we're going to add in the stock, the powdered beef stock together with some water and finally some Worcester sauce and the herbs. So as you can see, it's bubbling away nicely now. We're gonna add in the beef stock. So I have a jug, I've got a tablespoon measure and I'm actually gonna add in two tablespoons of the powdered beef stock. And then a liter of water. This is obviously gonna cook down as it's in the oven with meatballs. Adding that in. So 
looking good. Wow. A dash of Worcester sauce. I quite like Worcester sauce. I like the flavor it adds. It's probably in the region of around about two tablespoons. And then we have the remainder of the Italian herbs, the frozen Italian herbs. They're now not so frozen. Can we add those in as well? Obviously, if you have fresh herbs, put in your fresh herbs. And if you don't like powdered um, beef stock, then just go and buy something. We let this cook off for a while. And as soon as the meatballs are ready, we'll bung them in here as well and then pop it all into the oven. So we'll see you shortly. So the sauce has been cooking now for about 20 minutes, reducing just slightly. The meatballs have finished in the oven, so we're going to take them out and bung them in. Looking nice and golden. We're going to start bunging them in to the sauce. So we put the meatballs in. Just make sure that they're covered by the sauce, mix them around a little bit, not too hard because then they might break up. I'm going to switch off the stove, pop the lid on, and then put it back into the oven. And we're going to cook it at 200 degrees for one hour. So we've got it in the oven, we'll keep it in there for an hour. You can leave it in for a little bit longer um, if you want it to take up a bit more of the sauce. Once that's finished, we'll just put it on top of a plate of pasta.